Hey, how you doing? It's good to see you. Today, we're going to talk about some advice for people who are new to wrestling. But we're not going to talk about my advice for people who are new to wrestling. We're going to talk about George Derelvescoff's advice for people who are new to wrestling, because he is one of the greatest wrestlers to ever live. Before we get going, I've had a couple of comments recently asking what this fight team thing is all about. So it's probably only fair to, to start off by, by telling you what that is. A little while ago, I decided it would be kind of cool to have more of a community feel here. I, I love the conversations we have, I love the fact that we've got a real community of people who share a passion for recreational violence that kind of follow my videos and we get to chat in the comments and I thought it would be nice to have an identity. So what I did is right at the very end of the video I said that you know if you've got to the end of the video then as far as I'm concerned you're kind of part of my fight team and it's just kind of grown into a thing. So. Hopefully we'll get some fight team t-shirts fairly soon and if you want to be part of the fight team then that's great. Love to have you. You've got to get to the end of the video though. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about George Derelvescoff and his advice for new wrestlers. The first thing to say about this guy is if you haven't seen the other video I did on him then you should do it because this man was spectacular, probably the most deadly person to ever set foot on competitive wrestling mats in the history of wrestling. This man did a few things that, um, that really set him apart, one of which was that he physically overpowered and dragged W.E. Fairburn out of a burning barracks when Fairburn was trying to save some stuff. You know, anybody that can literally bodily drag Fairburn away from somewhere is a little bit special. The other thing that George DeRelvescoff did was he designed an entirely new system of hand-to-hand -hand combat for trench raiding parties in World War I and in doing so revolutionised the way that hand-to-hand -hand combat in the British Army was done. He also created a new system of wrestling for use within the forces and he wrote this amazing book, The Art of Wrestling, which is a fantastic book if you wanted to learn a historical form of wrestling that still works effectively today then this would be the book I would recommend. If I could only have one book on wrestling it would be this one. So anyway that all being said let's go to what he says about, um, about beginners. He's got a chapter entitled Tips for the Beginner. First learn how to fall. This can be done by falling about on the mat or grass, first by yourself and then by getting a comrade to practice with you. Allow him to cross buttock you and trip you and put the flying mare on you. Then in time you will be able to take a fall with ease and without hurting yourself. Always take care to fall limp, with muscles relaxed. Comparatively few drunken people hurt themselves when they fall, due to the fact that they do not attempt to break the fall by bracing the limbs or muscles. Being able to fall easily and without injury is a great advantage to the wrestler. Certainly not going to get any disagreement from me. When you find your opponent has a good hold on you and you can't prevent him throwing you, don't hang on to him, for you will only get his weight on top of you, and this may knock all the fight out of you for the next bout. Therefore, when you realise you can't stop an opponent throwing you, try to loosen out and fall clear of him. In learning or practising, always try to get an opponent a little heavier than yourself. This will prove an advantage to you when you wrestle with a man at or under your own weight. When wrestling, always keep your cool. Keep your wits about you and never lose your temper. As soon as a man loses his temper when wrestling, he sends a signal to his opponent that something is wrong. This will give his opponent renewed confidence, although he may have been losing heart. He will make renewed efforts and perhaps win. When you're wrestling, don't grip your opponent unnecessarily tight, as it only tires your arms. Don't grip tight until you have the hold you're after. When you have got the position you want, use all your reserve strength and try to accomplish your throw. 
Don't let your opponent see what hold you're after, for it gives him a chance to get ready, and so stop or counter you. Try and deceive him as to your intentions, till you see the opening you want, then slip in quickly and surprise him, using all your strength. If your opponent is thick-set and has big muscles, don't be afraid of him. Such men are frequently the easiest to beat, because they are generally slow in movement. Don't forget that brain work is needed in wrestling as well as muscles and weight, so don't trust to your strength alone. Um, that's what he says. He, he does have a section that's next, which is tips for instructors, which we'll look at in a future video. Um, he also talks about how to create a wrestling arena and how to make your own mats and things like that. So it's, it's well worth it. We'll come back to this because it's an amazing book. Um, there's two things I want to say before I wrap this video up. The first is that to all those of you who were so supportive of me when I discussed the possibility of starting to, to coach catch again after a four year break because of my knee injury and, and COVID. Um, yeah, thank you so much. First lessons were last night. We ran a kids class which was pretty small, there were only, there were only three or four of us there. Um, but the kids had a great time, and it was the first day back at school after the Easter holidays. Um, and I know enough, a few other kids have said that they're going to be coming along, so hopefully that'll take off. It was great. Um, really enjoyed it. And then we did an adults class, which was about the same numbers, but it was just the most amazing thing. I had such a good time. I did a little bit, not a huge amount. Um, but I managed to coach through some amazing things. We did some basics, we did some pivot steps, we did some of Billy's stuff, and we did some of uh, Wade's theory of wrestling. Absolutely fantastic. Um, if you're in the area, come down, join in, have a bit of fun. It's, it's great. So thank you, the classes are running, and really it's, it's down to you guys. So, you know, I am genuinely very grateful for your support. Uh, the next is that I, I wanna give this book away. I've said this a few times now. I've got two of these. Hang on a sec, let me find the other one. Here. Um, I saw one online for sale. It looked really, really cheap. I figured it was probably a modern reprint, um, but it was worth the, 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 the risk, if you like. I bought it. It turned out not to be a modern reprint, so I've got two copies of this book, um, which is truly, truly fantastic. And what I've said, and I'm sticking to, is that when one of the videos from this new burst of videos hits 10,000 views, then we'll give one of these away. I don't know how I'm gonna work out how to, who to give it to. I don't know who we're gonna choose. I don't know any of those things yet. But the first thing is we've gotta get a video to 10,000 views. We've come pretty close, we're getting there. We've got some videos at four or five, so it's certainly doable. And when we look back at some of the other videos, you know, I've got plenty of videos that are 100,000 views, uh, the original video about George is uh, somewhere in the region of 350,000 views, so it's definitely doable. So share this. If you know somebody that's into wrestling, point them at this video. Maybe put it on a forum. If you're on Facebook, maybe share it with some people there. Let's get this to 10k, and then I can finally give you a book. Um, thanks for sticking with me to the very end of the video, and um, yeah, fight team.